my vision, I, I couldn't see anything. Uh, really, my entire life was uh, was just a blur. I uh, noticed, you know, in freeway driving and, and driving around the city that I, it became increasingly difficult for me to read the street signs. I would have to blink my eyes all the time, even with reading glasses on. So I went to the doctor and he told me that I had cataracts. If you're planning to have cataract surgery, you know that your eye's natural lens, which has become cloudy, will be removed and replaced with an artificial lens implant. This permanent lens implant is called an intraocular lens, or IOL. Like your eye's natural lens, an IOL helps you see by focusing the light that comes through the cornea and pupil. The lens focuses light onto the retina, a light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina converts the light rays into signals that are sent through the optic nerve to the brain, where they are interpreted as the images we see. Before IOLs were developed, having cataracts removed meant you had to wear very thick eyeglasses or special contact lenses to be able to see after surgery. Now, there are several different types of IOLs available offering a number of options for meeting your vision needs after cataract surgery. IOLs are usually made of a flexible, foldable material and are only about one-third the size of a dime. Before your cataract surgery is performed, your eyes will be measured to determine the correct power of IOL for you. Just as there are different strengths or powers in eyeglasses, there are also different powers of lens implants to choose. Varying IOL designs will affect how you see when you're not wearing eyeglasses. You and your ophthalmologist will work closely together to determine the best IOL choice for you, based upon your vision needs and objectives, as well as the health of your eyes. Let's discuss options for your IOL. The traditional IOLs that have been used for several decades are called monofocal lens implants because they focus the light entering your eye at a single focal distance. This means that you will see best at either far, near, or intermediate distance when you aren't wearing glasses, depending upon the lens power selected by you and your eye surgeon. Most people who have cataract surgery with a traditional IOL choose to have a lens that provides good distance vision without glasses. I had cl absolute clarity in the eyesight after I had the surgery, whereas before it was like fog and the glasses, even when I'd put my glasses on in reading, I would have problems, if I read a long time, of blurriness. I don't have any of that anymore. Most people who have good distance vision without glasses begin having trouble seeing up close when they reach their mid-40s. This is a natural aging process called presbyopia. Presbyopia develops when our eye's natural lens loses its flexibility. Focusing up close becomes more difficult. The eye's ciliary muscle contracts, which causes our flexible lens to thicken or change shape. This change in shape allows us to see objects up close. As we age, our lens becomes less flexible and resists changing shape, so our ability to see up close is diminished. Usually, the first sign of presbyopia is the need to hold a newspaper or other reading material at arm's length to be able to read them. If you choose to have a traditional monofocal lens implanted after cataract surgery, you can expect to see well at all distances when you're wearing the appropriate glasses. However, when you're not wearing glasses, your natural focus will be best at only one of the three ranges, far, intermediate, or near. You and your doctor will decide what distance is best for you. With a monofocal IOL set for distance, you will need to wear reading glasses for close-up vision. If you choose to have a monofocal IOL set for near vision, allowing you to read without eyeglasses, then you will need glasses to see clearly in the distance. If you want the convenience of being less dependent on glasses for both near and distance vision after cataract surgery, a newer generation of IOLs can help you achieve this. These lenses are called multifocal and accommodating IOLs. They provide the option of seeing well at more than one distance when you're not wearing eyeglasses or contacts. Thank you.
Multifocal lenses use specially designed circular focal zones or rings on the surface of the lens. Depending on where the light rays are focused through the different zones or rings, you may be able to focus well at both near and distance. I did select uh, multifocal over um, monofocal, um, mainly because of the things that I do. Um, my sister was talking about, you got to be able to put makeup on. <laughs> so, so I did think about that. The surgery was about a year ago, and when the bandage came off from my first surgery, which was my right eye, it was just incredible. I have never ever seen such a clear, clear view that I can see just about everything without my glasses or the contact lenses. And it was just wonderful that I didn't have to worry about them. The ability to read without glasses varies from person to person, but is generally best when a multifocal lens implant is placed in both eyes. Multifocal lenses give you the potential to see both near and far without glasses. It usually takes anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks after placement of the second lens for your brain to adapt and to achieve the best near vision. An accommodative lens uses a different technique to enable patients to see better without eyeglasses. So I went to, to my doctor and he informed me that I did indeed have cataracts, which is what I, I suspected. Um, and he showed me um, a presentation about a new kind of, of lens, well new to me, uh, because I didn't know about it, uh, that would uh, enable me to see uh, better and see actually without glasses, which, which I at first didn't believe. You know, I thought he was, was pulling my leg and I said, oh yes, will this make me 21 again? And he said, well, maybe not that. These IOLs have design features that allow the eye's ciliary muscles to move the IOL either forward or backward in the eye. This movement of the lens allows the focus to change from near to far or back again, providing good vision up close and far away. With these newer IOL designs, people may enjoy the convenience of being able to see better when they're not wearing eyeglasses or contact lenses. However, it's important to understand that these newer IOLs should reduce, but will not necessarily eliminate the need for glasses. I found that I can see uh, uh, or, or read actually without the glasses up close, but, uh, but it's not quite as clear. You know, if someone were to call me and I didn't have my glasses and I needed to write down a telephone number, I could do it. In a situation where I just don't have my glasses, I can get along just fine. In addition, there may be certain factors that can decrease your satisfaction with multifocal or accommodating IOLs. For example, with some of these lenses, you might experience glare or nighttime halos, or you may find you have reduced contrast sensitivity. Although most people adapt to these conditions, others may find them bothersome. Other factors can affect how well these lenses work for you. Astigmatism, when your cornea is not perfectly rounded, can have an effect, as can the size of your pupils or the presence of other eye problems. Before surgery, you and your ophthalmologist should thoroughly discuss your eye health as well as your vision needs and expectations. Together, you'll identify the benefits as well as the possible drawbacks of the different types of IOLs available. Another way to reduce your dependence on glasses or contacts after surgery is a strategy called monovision. With this technique, your ophthalmologist will implant a traditional monofocal IOL in each eye, with one lens set for near or intermediate vision and the other for distance vision. Not everyone is comfortable with this difference in focus. However, many people find they can adapt well to monovision when they try it out first using contact lenses before having cataract surgery. Your ophthalmologist can discuss the pros and cons of monovision with you. I opted to have the monovision, which means that one eye is for reading, and which is my left eye, and one is for distance, which is my right eye. Sometimes I will use uh, my glasses when I'm reading a lot, so I don't tire, because remember, I only have one eye that can read. So it, it, it works perfectly. 
If your cornea is not perfectly rounded, it produces a natural blur called astigmatism, requiring you to wear glasses or contact lenses to see clearly. Astigmatism is not corrected by cataract surgery alone. If you have astigmatism and a traditional monofocal lens is implanted during cataract surgery, you can have excellent vision with eyeglasses. However, if you want better vision after cataract surgery without having to wear glasses, your ophthalmologist may treat the astigmatism by making tiny incisions in your cornea called limbal relaxing incisions. Another way to correct astigmatism is with a toric IOL. Toric IOLs are monofocal lens implants that have astigmatism correction built into them. Toric IOLs may not completely eliminate the need for eyeglasses. However, people with astigmatism who have toric IOLs implanted should have less astigmatism and better vision without glasses than if a traditional IOL was used. Your ophthalmologist will help you decide if astigmatism correction is needed or possible and how best to achieve this correction. Before you have cataract surgery, your ophthalmologist will thoroughly examine your eyes and review your medical history to see if there are any conditions that could affect the outcome of the surgery. Remember, cataract surgery will not correct other causes of decreased vision, such as glaucoma, diabetes, or macular degeneration. Together, you will discuss your vision goals. Your ophthalmologist will carefully explain the surgical procedure and will guide you in selecting the IOL most suited to your particular vision needs. It's important that you understand what different IOLs realistically can and can't do for you. You should consider how important it is for you to reduce your dependence on glasses after cataract surgery. For instance, if you want to be able to see well in the distance without glasses, but don't mind wearing glasses for reading or computer work, a traditional monofocal IOL may be fine for you. If you want to reduce how often you need to wear glasses, a multifocal or accommodating IOL might be the best option to achieve that convenience. Or if you have significant astigmatism, a toric IOL might be the best option. Try to prioritize your needs to help you and your ophthalmologist determine the appropriate IOL options for you. Statistically, the success rate of cataract surgery and IOL implantation is very high. As with any surgery, however, there are potential risks, and your doctor will go over these with you. Millions of people each year have their vision quality restored with cataract surgery. With the various IOL options available, there are now more ways to meet your vision needs and enhance your quality of life.